Hello and welcome to Park Essen. My name is Jake and today we are once again discussing the construction and redevelopment of the Lost River Ride at Flamingo Land Resort in North Yorkshire. Now, I've made a couple of these updates already. The last one was uploaded about a month ago, um, sort of towards the end of July. And since then, as you can see by the visuals, there's a lot of work being taken place. First of all, the most obvious thing is that most of the drop structure has now been removed. Um, there's lots of scaffolding in place around some areas of the ride. There's also quite a few interesting developments that we're going to be covering here. So um, if you do go on to enjoy the video or you want to stay updated with the, with the construction and development of this quite epic project, um, then we will have daily uploads here on Park Essence. So please don't hesitate to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these videos. Now, as I mentioned, most of the drop structure has now been removed. There's only a very small section um, of the lift hill still in place. Um, this has been, they started to remove this sort of towards the end of the 2023 season and it, it's almost completely gone. There's, other than the trough, uh, which goes around, which it used to go around, it goes all around the lion enclosure um, and through that bit, there isn't really any evidence now that this ride existed obviously other than the colossal construction site, but we'll go on to that in a second. Now, first little thing I'd like to mention is, as you can see in the video there, there's some scaffolding appeared around one of the sections of the ride. Now, this section used to, I say used to because it hasn't for a long of years, um, it used to, the boat used to stop here, um, and there's a little Jeep-type Land Rover range, whatever it's called, uh, sort of a buggy and it used to it used to stop there and you used to get like an audio track a bit of immersion there's a bit of a storyline to it that hasn't been operational for a lot of years now um, but there is a lot of scaffolding up there as you can see um, so whether it's that whether it's going to be removed or just maybe it could be new development there is talks at the moment of a, a, like a dark ride section being added there i i i don't know from the, my understanding of it is the whole thing is going to move. Uh, check out the other two construction updates if you want me to talk about that. Uh, there will be a link in the description. But the whole ride is going to be moving towards the lake. And whether the original trough is going to stay put and just be extended, that would be quite cool to see with a bit of extra theming. Um, this is obviously all unconfirmed. It's worth pointing that out. But it is a possibility that we could be seeing a, a longer ride here with... The current layout um, just being added to and extending further back, that could be interesting. Uh, certainly something that would be unique. Uh, and it'd be great to have some longer water rides in the UK, as that is something we've been missing in recent years. Now, the second thing I'm going to talk about is <laughs> there's a huge new structure uh, being built near to where the old Lion viewing platform was. Uh, or was, sorry. <laughs> Um, there's, a, there's a huge wall sort of to the to near the, where the old station for Lost River Ride was. Um, and there's, there's enormous uh, dry block walls that have been added to sort of to the rear of the lion enclosure, if that makes sense. You'll see it better in the visuals. Um, I'm trying to explain it as best I can. Um, there's, so, yeah, there's lots of scaffolding around. There's, uh, I've visited now a few times during this sort of closed season and winter event that they run but it's it's been just so much work going on and it's pretty constant um the area as you can see in the in the videos it, it is a complete mess at the moment uh, but all construction sites are so you've got to bear that in mind the next thing i'd like to talk about is quite a big thing a bit of speculation here for you there is a new access road or at least i think it's an access road that's been built towards, uh, like on the path where you used to go to Voodoo, there has been a, the, a, a, like a constructed, it looks like an access path because it's just a load of rubble on the floor at the moment, but there's the potential that we could be seeing the, the, the park expand to that area. Now, the reason I think this might be the case is because obviously with the ride being further back towards the lake, you're going to have to get to it somehow. Um, in the past, it's been in quite a central location, and which is obviously great for the park it's great for the throughput um it's always been a popular attraction but they're going to have to sort of wean the people towards that area of the park whether that's with an extra flat ride or maybe a cafe or 
oh, with the sea lion thing that I talked about in the last episode. Again, check that out if you haven't seen it already. Um, but it's, it's, it'd be interesting to see. I'd like to see them sort of um, expand further down the lake, if that makes sense, because that's an area that's been untouched for years. Well, since the Jungle Cruise attraction left left Flamingo Land in the sort of early 50s, uh, sorry, late 50s, early 60s. We haven't seen anything in that area of the park. However, it, it's all to be confirmed, of course. Next thing I want to talk about is, is going to be quite an important one, especially in 2024, with, well, there's going to be some ride closures, isn't there? So on the construction site, um, there you, there is a sort of pirate swinging attraction called Voodoo. That is likely to be closed due to the area where it is and the amount of construction taking place there. Are we going to get something to re replace that? Maybe the park could definitely use a, a couple more sort of new generation flat rides. That would be something that's really good to see. Sort of, um, we've got there's a good range of attractions at Flamingo Land, but sort of compact, thrilling uh, flat rides is something that they've really struggled with. Maybe we, we could see something like that, not only to replace or, or to keep up with the capacity that is going to be lost, obviously, but with the Lost River Ride being closed and Voodoo to pretty high throughput attractions, but also to kind of freshen up the area a bit for this year could be interesting, very interesting, of course. The other, the other ride closure, which is going to be a bit of a, well, it could potentially have some issues for the park, let's say, is the train. Now, the train runs for all around the park, so there's a stop next to Kamali, there's a stop just outside the hub where Flamingo F1 is, and there's also a stop in the zoo. Now, the train is a very important attraction. It's it's the, the easiest way of getting around the park. For some guests, it might be necessary to have the train, sort of guests with mobility issues or people that find it harder to walk around and get around so easily. It's, it's quite an important attraction to have, really. And also, it's as, as with Voodoo and the Lost River Ride, it was really, really high throughput. You can get people on there. It was, it was a long train, maybe four or five carriages long. And you've got to think four or five carriages worth of people constantly, all day, moving around the park. It, it, it eats up a lot of the capacity. But also, it's an enjoyable experience. A lot of guests enjoy going on the train, myself included. Uh, it's very relaxing. You get to see different areas of the park. You get a bit of a unique view. It's great, and it's going to be it's, uh, it's going to be a bit of a shame to lose that for a full year, really. Um, whether or not they could, they, I mean, with the with it all being unconfirmed, they could completely remove the train. They could completely remove Voodoo as well. Um, they could not replace with any flat rides, which would be a a bit of a crazy decision, but it could happen. Uh, there's just there's so much still going on and it's really interesting to kind of see the development i'll be really interested to see um what they what ends up happening with of course um the new structures and and also the rides that are going to be missing but i suppose time will tell we've still got a few weeks left till the main season it's probably too late now to bring any new attractions in but you never know alton towers did it with the retro squad maybe, maybe we could see some horrible temporary flat rides at flamingo land who knows? So that's all I've got to update you on today. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts on what's going on with the Lost River Ride down in the comments section below. My name is Jake and you've been watching Park Essen. Thank you very much.